Uh, what's going on guys? HK Titan here with a brand new video for you guys, but first things first, as always, I hope you guys are having an amazing day. So in today's video, we are going to be jumping back into another Two Towers Chimps challenge. So for this Two Towers Chimps challenge, the towers that I will be using is I will be using the Dark Champion as well as the Prince of Darkness because I figured that the Dark Champion is a really good late game tower and so is the Prince of Darkness, especially, well, the Prince of Darkness is more of a early game tower but i figured they should pair well together which will allow us to beat this two towers chimps challenge so now that i went ahead and covered that let's go ahead and jump straight into it all right guys and here we are on logs because of course logs is a great map to go ahead and play on especially if you're trying to do two towers chimps so what we're going to be doing for this two towers chimps is we need to start off with our wizard monkey because of course our super monkey is just a tad bit on the expensive side oh let's go ahead and turn up the volume ever so slightly there we go but like i was saying the super monkey is super super expensive sitting at 2700 dollars guys i mean that's a lot of money to spend on a tower that's not very good especially at a tier one but once we level him up of course he's going to get better and better but he is kind of a weaker uh start to or he has a weaker tier or he's a weaker tier one than other tier tier ones that, that we could use all right so now as you guys can see we upgraded our wizard monkey to a fireball and of course the fireball is going to be able to carry us through round or er, all the way up, up until roughly week we can afford the intense magic and then of course we're going to be going for a wall of fire and then following wall of fire we'll go ahead and grab a monkey sense so if you guys watched my previous two towers chimps you guys already have the gist of what we're going to be doing here so i'm not going to bore you too much with all of the details but what we will be doing is we're going to be going for the intense magic next then we're going to be going for wall of fire and then we're going to be going for monkey sense as soon as we can afford to buy our monkey sense so now that i went ahead and covered that i'm going to go ahead and fast forward to the point where we can afford to buy our super monkey and then i'll bring you guys back again all right guys and here we are on round 23 as you guys can see we can almost afford to afford or we can almost afford to buy our super monkey so we're going to go ahead and bring you back here so let me see here there we go now we can officially afford to buy our super monkey and we're going to be placing our super monkey right here in the bottom left hand corner because this will allow our super monkey to go ahead and do damage to a bunch of the balloons uh in the early game especially when it comes to dealing with these purple balloons because the per the per the purple balloons are a little bit hard for our wizard monkey to deal with especially since the wizard monkey cannot damage per purple balloons as of yet but that being said we will be upgrading our wizard monkey now because we need our wizard monkey to, to be the one to deal with purples especially since we want to upgrade our super monkey to la laser blast and plasma blast and if you guys are a little bit unfamiliar with the way that the super monkey works if you upgrade the super monkey to the top path you will no longer actually be able to pop purple balloons and don't ask me why but that's but that's just the way it it works with the super monkey himself all right and there we go we can afford to buy our shimmer and then we're going to be going for the necromancer unpopped army following that we're going to be upgrading our super monkey to knock back with ultra vision that way we have another tower that can go ahead and pop camo balloons because of course we are our our wizard monkey is the only one that can pop camo balloons as of right now so that being said, I'm going to go ahead and fast forward to the point where we have our Wizard Monkey upgrade to the Necromancer Unpopped Army, and we have our Super Monkey upgrade to Knockback with Ultra Vision. So sit back, relax, and I'll see you guys here in just a second. All right, guys, so we are on round 39, and as you guys can see, we can now afford to upgrade our Super Monkey up to Ultra Vision. Vision. As you guys can see right here, we have our Wizard Monkey upgrade to Wall of Fire and the Necromancer Unpopped Army. And then just one more time, we have our Super Monkey upgrade to Knockback with Ultra Vision. Now, the next thing that we need to do is we need to start saving up to buy our Prince of Darkness. Now, don't be too afraid be because the Super Monkey and the Necromancer Unpopped Army has more than enough popping power in order to support us all the way up until the point where we can afford to buy our Prince of Darkness. Which again, it shouldn't take us too long to actually be able to, to do it. But I do want you guys to know that we definitely need to have the Prince of Darkness before round 63. Otherwise, round 63 is just going to end up destroying us. And we're not really going to have an option or a say in if, if it's going to do it or not. But alright guys, uh, there's not much else that we need to do all the way up until round 63. So again, again guys, sit back, relax. And I'll see you guys here in just another second. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and bring you back on round 52 because we can almost afford to buy our Prince of 
Darkness. Now, following buying our Prince of Darkness, we we can officially start to upgrade our Super Mutt Monkey because the Prince of Darkness will be able to handle all of the purple balloons. And now we really don't need to worry uh, too much besides that. So there we go. We just have to deal with this last Moab balloon. And luckily, the Necromancer Unpopped Army is an absolute beast at dealing with ceramic balloons. All right, guys, here we are in just one second. We'll be able to grab our Prince of Darkness. There we go. Perfect. So now we're not out of the water just yet, guys, because uh, the, su the Super Mutt Monkey, along with being a beast, he does have a small drawback. And what that drawback is, is actually going to be his knockback, because if we're not careful, Super Monkey's knockback can actually uh, be the bane of his existence because on round 76, when we get that uh, massive rush of ceramic regen balloons, the Super Monkey can actually cause a regen farm, which our Prince of Darkness will actually not be able to deal with. So I do have a way of kind of making sure that we don't get that, re that regen farm, but uh, that's still quite a few rounds away. So we're going to go ahead and upgrade our Super Monkey to the Dark Knight, and then we're going to buy Laser Blast and Plasma Blast at, at this point. So guys, uh, right now there's nothing else that we really need to do besides upgrade our Super Monkey to Laser Blast and Plasma Blast. So again, I'm going to go ahead and fast forward all the way until round 71 or 72. And that's where a really, really important part of this guide actually comes in. So guys, so once again, sit back, relax. I'll see you guys here in just a second. All right, guys, here we are on round 70. And as you guys can see, we have our Super Monkey upgraded to a Plasma Blast. Now we need to start moving our Prince of Darkness to a spot where he's not going to cause a regen farm. So, luckily, because we're using the Super Mutt Monkey, he actually has the ability to teleport, guys. So, we, we can go ahead and move him down on here. Now, there is a little bit of a drawback here with the Tier 3 Dark Knight tele or teleportation. Because, unfortunately, he cannot teleport that far. Which is why we have we, we have, to have to move him at such an early round, and we can't just afford or we can't just teleport him out of the way on round seventy six because we won't be able to get him away far enough nor fast enough. All right, so we should have his teleportation back up, and we need to move him down here so we have enough space up here to teleport him one more time. And guys, we only have three rounds left to go until we have round seventy six, and we need to get our super monkey all the way up here. All right, there we go. So we can go ahead and teleport him right there. Perfect. And then we just need to teleport him here and then back up here. Now, again, guys, the reason why we're doing this is because we do not want to cause a regen farm on round 76. All right, there we go. His teleportation is back up. We can go ahead and teleport him up here. And now, opposed to being on the left side of the Prince of Darkness, now he is on the right side. And he, we don't need to worry about him causing a regen farm. Much similar to the case that we had with the Apache Dart ship. Uh, with him ca causing a regen farm on round 76, which would normally cause us to lose if we were using the Apache Prime. But luckily, because we have the Prince of Darkness, we can teleport him wherever we want. Uh, it really doesn't ma matter where you put him as, as long as he's on the right side to where he's not going to be hitting any of the ceramic balloons on round 76. And then once we pass round 76, we can go ahead and teleport him all the way back over to the left side where he can continue to do his amazing superhero duties and popping the BFBs and normal balloons. All right, so round 75, we just have round 76 left. And here we go, this massive rush of regen ceramic balloons. And as you guys can see, he's causing a little bit of a regen farm on the right hand side. But because our Prince of Darkness did quite a bit of damage, it wasn't that bad. All right, now we can go ahead and move him back over to the left hand side here. And then once we get him moved back over to the left left hand side, we're going to go ahead and continue along and save up for our Dark Champion. Which we should be able to afford the Dark Champion probably around eight, round 85 or maybe 86. It shouldn't take us too long to actually be able to upgrade him. Alright, let's go ahead and move our Prince of Dark Darkness to a place where we can go ahead and have enough room to teleport him here. And just in case you guys were wondering, the reason why I teleport him down here is because the Super Monkey is a little bit of a chunky boy and I, I cannot move him from side to side that easy. All right, we should have his teleportation up here in just one second. There we go. We can move him up here and then we're going to put him back in the same exact position that we just had him. All right, and then luckily we shouldn't have to deal with this small uh, area of effect uh, here soon because we should be able to afford our Dark Champion here in just a sec. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fast forward to the point where we can afford to buy our Dark Champion and I'll bring you guys back once more. 
All right, guys, here we are on round 84. And as you guys can see, we can almost afford to buy our Dark Champion. So uh, here we go in just one second. There we go, boys. We have the Dark Champion. We officially have the hero that this Monkey City deserves. So if the Super Monkey is classified as Batman, what would the Prince of Darkness be, cla be classified as? Would the Prince of Darkness be the Robin to the Dark Champion's Batman? Or would the Dark or the Prince of Darkness be uh, someone else? So be sure to let, let me know in the comments below what, what you guys think. I personally think that the Prince of Darkness is kind of the Dark Champion's uh, Robin. Because, of course, we all know that the Dark Champion is definitely going to be Batman. All right, guys, uh, just because we have the Dark Champion, we are not out of the woods just yet. Because even though the Dark Champion is the hero that these monkeys deserve, he's still not enough in order to deal with some of the higher tiered rounds. So we need to take advantage of the Dark Champion's nifty little teleportation ability once we get up past round 96. So guys, uh, in order to make sure that this guy is super sweet and super fast, I'm going to go ahead and fast forward all the way up until round 96, and I'll bring you guys back once more. All right, guys, and here we are on round 96. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be paying attention to where all of these balloons make it till. If they make it up here to the very, very top, we'll go ahead and teleport our dark ch champion over here to the right. That way we know for a fact that we're going to be able to finish off all of these balloons. Now, 96 really isn't going to be a problem for us, but it's more around 97 when we get the reinforced ZOMGs where the reinforced ZOMGs may make it a little bit further than we would actually like. So just in case they, they do, we can always teleport our dark champion over to the right hand side like so. And no worries, we should be able to tell Teleport him back here in just one second. There we go. Perfect. So let's go ahead and teleport him back to go ahead and start doing damage uh, over on these ZOMG balloons. And then we should have his ability off of cooldown well before these ZOMGs make it even a quarter of the way through the map. All right. So luckily, it looks like our Prince of Darkness is, or our, not our Prince of Darkness, but our Dark Champion did great work to those ZOMGs. But now we're on round 98 where we have a little bit more beefy boys coming at at us so here we go we're going to pay attention to where all of these balloons make it and again if any of these uh moab balloons or bfbs make it up here to the very 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 top we'll go ahead and teleport our dark champion over here to the right hand side and there we go let's go ahead and teleport our dark champion and now our dark champion is going to be able to finish off all of the rest of these balloons and then we'll go ahead and teleport our boy back over here to the left hand side to go ahead and start fighting off the reinforced uh DDT balloons on round 99. Alright, there we go. Perfect. Now we can go ahead and teleport him back. And then we'll go ahead and get ready to teleport him once, once more. Even though I don't think we'll have to because the Prince of Darkness is an absolute boss. Alright guys, here we are on round 100. The Bad Mamma Jamma. The Bad Balloon. So let's go ahead and teleport our Dark Champion back over here to the right hand side. But while we're do doing this, I just want to say thank you guys so much for the support on the channel. It has been absolutely amazing. Uh, you guys show me so much love. I really, really appreciate it guys. But all right, guys, and one last thing I want to say is that if, if you guys enjoyed this video or if you guys found this video helpful, please feel free to drop a like, drop a comment. And also, if you guys haven't subscribed yet, please feel free to subscribe as well. But anyways, guys, we just have this last little bit of a rush to deal with. And there we go. Perfect. And as you guys can see, our Prince of Darkness and Dark Champion strat worked absolutely amazing, racking up 2,045,765 pops. But anyways, guys, I really hope you enjoyed one this more. And thank you again so very much for watching. But anyways, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. But you, you already know what time it is. I hope you guys have the most amazing day of your lives and i'll see you guys in the next one